Next up on WTV, homecoming themes, AP drop window, and this week's edition of Real Talk. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Happy Friday the 13th. I'm Joaquin Perez with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Homecoming is next week, and along with the dance comes dress-up days for the whole week. WTV's Lauren Pratt has the details. Student Council has laid out a week full of dress-up themes to increase student participation and spirit for Homecoming Week. Monday's theme is Mathlete versus Athlete. Tuesday is Country versus Country Club. Wednesday will be Bikers versus Surfers. For school and the Homecoming game on Thursday, students will wear mums and garters and grade colors with freshmen wearing silver, sophomores wearing red, juniors wearing black, and seniors wearing white. To wrap up the week, Friday will be dressed like a Hollywood celebrity. Reporting for WTV, I'm Lauren Pratt. On this week's edition of Real Talk, WTV's Natalia Soto asked students about the homecoming dress-up days. Talks, it's Natalia Soto with another edition of Real Talk, and today I'm going to be asking students about the HOKO themes. Are you planning on dressing up for HOKO week? Yes. Yes. Probably. I am, yes. Do you like the idea of verses? Uh, yes, I do. Why? Because it's like you can, you can, people can see which side you like better. Yeah, I like it. It gives you multiple takes on the topic. I do. I think it uh, allows for a lot of creativity. I think in past years they've been a little bit consistent, so this is like a change of pace. What's your favorite theme? Probably Hollywood. Uh, my favorite is probably Country vs. Country Club. I think that one is really fun and just like seeing it online and stuff like that. The Hollywood. The Hollywood. And what's your least favorite? Mathlete vs. Athlete because I don't think a lot of people are going to do that one. Yeah. The, the Country vs. Country Club because I'm not really down with the country stuff. Mums and Garters. I'm not ready to hear the jingles. <laughs> Mums? Why? Because it's weird. Reporting for WTV, I'm Natalia Soto. The drop P and advanced classes is open now. WTV has the details. Starting today, students have the ability to drop out of their advanced and AP classes, but they must do so by the end of the day on September 19th. Students are given the first six weeks in their advanced and AP classes, then during the first grading period are given the option to drop. There are several things that students should consider before dropping an AP or advanced class, examples being schedule changes or conflicts. So it's important that students put thought and time into their decision. The focus is obviously we want students to challenge themselves with the most rigorous courses available, um, but also you want to make sure that you're actually learning the material. So if, if an advanced or AP class is really beyond the rigor that you can um, get the foundational knowledge in that class, then you might be a candidate. But the best way to find that out would be first talk to that um, the teacher of that subject to see if there's something you can do to be successful there um, and kind of get their advice. Students are able to drop by submitting a form available on the counselor's webpage or by scanning the QR code on screen. Reporting for WTV, I'm Joaquin Perez. On today's sports, or on Tuesday, coming away with a 3-1 win over the Rangers. They will kick off their... <laughs> Volleyball played their final non-district game versus Lone Star on Tuesday coming away with a 3-1 win over the Rangers. They will kick off their district run versus Frisco today at 5.30 at the Nest. Also in action tonight, football plays their first district game versus Lovejoy. For junior lineman Connor Johnson, he is primed for what awaits against the Leopards. I'm very prepared to go against Lovejoy. I think it's a great challenge. You know, Lovejoy is a very respected school football-wise, and I'm very prepared to go against them. The game is at 7.30 at Leopard Stadium. Staying outside, Cross Country competes in the Lovejoy Inventational tomorrow at 8 a.m. at Myers Park. Finally, tennis scored its first win earlier this week, beating the Heritage Coyotes 10 to 9. The team is back in action on Tuesday at 4 at the Nest. Reporting for WTV, I'm Wesley Brodor. Today at 5:30 at the Nest. Also in action tonight, football plays their first district game versus Lovejoy. For junior lineman Connor Johnson,
he is primed for what awaits against the Leopards. I'm very prepared to go against Lovejoy. I think it's a great challenge. You know, Lovejoy is a very respected school football-wise, and I'm very prepared to go against them. The game is at 7.30 at Leopard Stadium. Staying outside, Cross Country competes in the Lovejoy Inventational tomorrow at 8 a.m. at Myers Park. Finally, tennis scored its first win earlier this week, beating the Heritage Coyotes 10-9. The team is back in action on